Hey YouTube, Opinionative Reviewer here. Just bring you guys a quick update video on the Untethered Jailbreak on iOS 5.0 and iOS 5.0.1. Now, in my last update, I was telling you guys that you shouldn't update to 5.0.1 because the one of the Untethered exploits were patched in 5.0.1 that was in 5.0. But now, yesterday, Pod2G, if you don't know who Pod2G is, Pod2G is one of the key members of the jailbreak community the jailbreak iOS community and he tweeted out yesterday got an untethered iPhone 4 running iOS 5.0 feel free to update which means he's already jailbroken his iPhone 4 on I untethered on iOS 5.0.1 so if you guys want to go ahead and update the iOS 5.0.1 before 5.1 is released officially go ahead and do that if you're on iOS 5.0.1, you can go ahead and back up your SH, SH blobs with iFate before you upgrade. If you're on iOS 5.0, use Tiny Umbrella to back up your SH, SH blobs. Do it right now. If you don't know how to back up your SH, SH blobs, there's going to be two links in the description, one for iFate and one for Tiny Umbrella giving you step-by-step -step instructions on how to use both of them. So go ahead and grab, check out the link in the description to back up your SHSH blobs. Remember, if you're an GVSIM user, please use a custom firmware from Snowbreeze to prevent, to uh, preserve your baseband for iOS 5.0.1. I'm, uh, I'm also going to have a link in the description for that showing you guys how to unlock your iPhone 4 on iOS 5.0.1. It has the preserve pre baseband preservation steps in it as well. But this is awesome news. Uh, hopefully the Antenna jailbreak is right around the corner. But you can go ahead and feel free to update the iOS 5.0.1. If you have to preserve your baseband, please don't forget. I wanted to bring you guys this sweet update because it's awesome. There's no ETA at the moment, so we do not know when it's going to come out. They are still working on it. Hopefully they bring it out before Christmas. Also, I don't think it supports the iPhone 4S and the iPad 2. I do not think it supports those two devices. I think those two devices will have to be jailbroken by Poisex Ninja and the Green Poison team. I think though they're the Chronic Dev team or whatever. I don't really keep track of all the names or whatever. But yeah, those guys, will, I think they will have to jailbreak. The, uh, it's in their hands to jailbreak the iPhone 4S and the iPad 2 if it did support the iPhone 4s he would have said so so this is basically for the iPhone 4 the iPod touch 4 gen third gen iPad 1 and the iPhone 3GS untethered iOS 5.0.1 not iPhone 4s not iPad 2 that's it guys with that being said please rate comment subscribe have a nice day